walking in the house in my room, gotta make her put it on. She don't like when it cold, just left car cold. No Carolina, I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a piece of whistle, ice cream, she remember you. Ice cube, make a gym, she ever like the one do. Do see me with the crew, I bet get some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. I think I swallowed a bug just now. Yo, man. Rikers Island Stories. Volume 9000. Because I got a lot of these. The International Pop-Off Dummy. A.K.A. the iPod. The IPZ. A.K.A. The corniest gang members in Rikers Island. At least in C-74 where I was at. This video is going to offend some people. And if it offends you, it's because I'm talking about you. And if you feel some type of way, suck my dick. But listen. Listen. NC-74 Rikers Island, right? There's people who call, you know, crash dummies, pop-off dummies, dojas, you know. The iPod, you know what I'm saying? The international pop off dummy. It all, I really feel like I swallowed a bug. Ugh. All right, drink some water when I get in the crib. But yeah, listen. The international pop off dummy, it's an umbrella term, but it basically means somebody who, somebody who wants to be known as being tough. So they do a whole lot of like extra shit. It's it's a difference between wanting to show you tough, right? So you making an initiative, right? You making an initiative to get your name out there. It's a difference between that and being a, a iPod, an international pop off dummy. Cause this is somebody who more times than not, they getting told what to do. Sometimes they don't even want to do it, but they do it anyway because one, they probably was day room niggas and they getting their weight up. Or two, the same as number one, but they desperately, right? Because they're cowards and they can't think for themselves or move on their own. They want to be a part of a gang and that's either the Bloods or the Crips or Whatever gang that will allow them to exchange their idiocy, right? For some type of clout within said gang, right? But here's the thing about the iPod, international pop off dummy, right? You put in that work, right? You play yourself, you play yourself. You end up being a part of this gang, not even all the time, but a lot of the time. And you never, ever, ever earn respect anyway. You still the same position you was in. You just a little bit more good. You just a little bit more good because you're affiliated with this gang. But the dudes above you is still going to violate you. They still going to send you as a missile to do things to other people. And this involves various things. Like, they'll send you to take something from somebody, which is on a minor level. They'll tell you to pop it up on somebody, like a fight. All the way up to high levels, like, yo, listen. You want to be blood? You want to be crit? Go stab him. Take the scalpel. Cut that nigga face. Right? All this doja shit. The iPod, the international pop-off dummy, does not move on his own too. Does not stand on his own feet. Right? He's a wave rider. He's a dick rider, right? Right? Not confident as a man on his own feet. Has to have the identity 
of a gang in order to feel tough. This is the type of people who we dealing with. This is the type of people we dealing with, but it ends up bad for these niggas. Wanna know why? Because at the end of the day, you get told to do something. These people, these people often end up in the box, spending a whole lot of extra time in the box for doing other people's dirty work. People who don't respect them, people who don't care if they live or die, and most importantly, people who they not even gonna see ever again when they leave set jail or, or when they go home. So it's like, what's the point of this? You doing this, someone sent you to do something, right? You do something to somebody, you go to the box, you in a whole nother jail somewhere, or you in a whole nother crib, you got new beef that was inherited from somebody else, right? Who sent you to be a missile, and now wherever you go, you got to worry about somebody stabbing you, cutting you, somebody knocking you out. Oftentimes, people who are connected to people who you disrespected, that you don't even know who they are, you don't even see them coming, because you're a jackass. Because you want to be a meat eater. Because you want to be a nut hugger. You want to be a ball kisser. This is what happens to these type of people. And guess what? International pop-up dummies exist out in real time too. Out in real time too. You know what I'm saying? An international pop-up dummy. Somebody who wants to be down with somebody. And they tell you, hey, listen. Rob this person from me. Or take this gun. Go shoot this person. Go shoot up this person mother house. Go do this, this, that, 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 and the third. The pop-off dummy, the weakling. When they talking to you, they're like, yo, listen, take this pack. Take this pack, get this off. You get caught, you don't know me, right? International pop-off dummies everywhere. These people are people who have low self-esteem. 9.9 .9 times out of 10 grew up in a house without a father or a real man in their lives to tell them, hey, listen, stand on your own too. Stand on your own feet. Be yourself. The easiest thing to do in the world is to be yourself. Well, hey, I believe that's true, but you know what? Maybe it's not for these type of people. Maybe it's not, because look at what they doing. A lot of these dudes in jail, they're predicate slashes. They mess around and catch extra new charges. They getting caught with drugs up their booty. All type of wild stuff. Getting caught with razors in their booty. Cutting the inside of their booty by mistake. Booty blood juice spilling down the crack of their ass. This is the type of life you settle for when you choose to not be a man. This is the type of life that you settle for, man. Is this the life you want to live? I don't think it's the life you want to live. I think you need to have more respect for yourself. I think you need to not let people tell you what to do. I think you need to mind your business and complete your bid. If you're watching this right now, and you on the verge of going to jail. But more importantly than that, I think you should probably just avoid going to jail altogether, man. It ain't that serious. Just let me ask you something if you're on the streets, right? If you got any type of beef, you doing anything in the street, right? Is it about any money at all, right? A lot of these younger dudes that's beefing in the streets, and even at my era, my early 20s, when I was 15 to 20, a lot of stuff was going on, right? None of it was about money. I got homies doing life, life in prison, life in the penitentiary over zero dollars. Zero dollars. So do you want to get locked up for zero dollars and then go to jail? Be locked up for zero dollars and then be a pop-off dummy. <laughs> be a sword for hire with no respect, right? Be a doja cat, right? Be a doja cat. Mess around and have to do more time, right? Because you obeying somebody's orders. 
You letting somebody your age or a little bit older be your father. Because that's what having a big homie is. You in a gang, man. Some of y'all are 30, 35 years old. And you got a big homie that's your age or younger than you. You are a sucker. You're not official. I don't care what work you put in the street. You're not official. You got a big homie. You're a grown man with kids and you got a big homie. A big homie who ain't put you on to no bread. He ain't put you on to no intelligent books to read. None of that. He just do dumb shit with you. You're a clown. You're a clown and you should slap yourself. Like, shit, come subscribe. Peace.